My name is Dr. Sarah Metz. I'm a clinical psychologist and the director for the UCSF Division of Trauma Recovery Services. Our mission statement here is we envision a world where every survivor of violence gets the help they need to heal. We eliminate barriers to healing and inspire survivors to embrace hope. In collaboration with the California Victim Compensation Program, we're better able to identify what the landscape was in terms of resources for survivors. And we did a pilot project where we thought about what is treatment as usual and what can we do differently to try to yield different kinds of outcomes and access for survivors. And so we created a multifaceted treatment approach, really focusing on assertive outreach, focusing on trauma-focused mental health services, helping survivors navigate just the complex systems that they often have to interface with after being victimized and having a single point of contact so that they have one person that that they connect with that will help them to navigate all of these different um, systems of care, resource, processes, as well as through that person to receive the trauma-focused mental health support. We helped folks to get connected to a wide variety of case management services. We saw an increase in folks accessing the victim compensation, so enabling them, helping them to apply to the victim compensation program. So as our model has replicated across California, Part of what supported that replication was the California Victim Compensation Board overseeing the TRC grant. And so the way the model looks here in San Francisco could be very different. Not all TRCs are based uh, or connected with hospitals. Um, some do have university affiliation, hospital affiliation, but some are freestanding uh, clinics in the community. So the UCSF Trauma Recovery Center is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We do accept walk-ins. Folks can find out about us in a number of different ways. One way that specifically sexual assault survivors might come into contact with the UCSF TRC is coming through the emergency department. Every adult sexual assault survivor that comes into the emergency department is scheduled a follow-up here at the Trauma Recovery Center. They certainly don't have to come, but we want to ensure that every survivor has the opportunity to connect with a TRC clinician for follow-up uh, if they desire. So that's one pathway, uh, as well as other inpatient or outpatient units at San Francisco General Hospital. We work very closely with San Francisco General's wraparound project through the Department of Surgery, and that program supports uh, survivors of targeted community violence. So they see uh, gunshot survivors, stabbing survivors, you know, significant physical assault survivors, um, many of whom re require pretty intense medical intervention. And so we have a clinician here at the UCSF Trauma Recovery Center. And so we will see some of those survivors bedside and start informing them about our services if they're interested. Uh, we also receive other referrals from the emergency department for other survivors that maybe haven't you know, quite connected with us in, in one of those ways yet. We receive referrals from community partners like the um, Victim Services Office through the, the DA's office. Uh, we have, you know, we accept referrals from, from other agencies like uh, interpersonal violence shelters, DV shelters. Uh, some survivors can self-refer, so derivative victims of homicide. So folks who, you know, have lost somebody to homicide, including at the hands of the police, they can self-refer into our services. We also have a program called Survivors International um, that is unique uh, to, to the UCSF TRC. And through that program, we see asylees, asylum seekers, and refugees that experience torture in their home country. Uh, we also have a program called the Neurotrauma Outreach Program that is a collaboration with the San Francisco General Department of neurosurgery. Most of the clients uh, that we see through that program here at UCSF TRC experienced or acquired that traumatic brain injury in the context of a crime, but some of them did not. I'll walk through a, a very common pathway uh, that clients can take to come to us. So let's say a, a survivor call, they get connected with our clinician on duty. At that time, the clinician on duty will assess their eligibility for our program. 
um, assess their interest, um, and just make sure that we're a good fit. And if they're in agreement, um, and then they get scheduled for an intake appointment with one of our clinicians. And our intake is now broken into two phases. So there's an initial phase intake where they meet with a clinician for about two hours. We find out more you know, about their general life history. We do some symptom assessment for um, screening for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, screening for potential depression. We do risk assessment. You know, one of our main priorities here is, is the safety of our survivors. And so that includes not just suicidality or, or something like homicidality, but also risk of revictimization. So that if there is any immediate um, safety intervention, you know, we can ensure to prioritize that and attend to that straight away. After that initial intake, for many of our clients, they might be offered the opportunity to, to start attending one of our groups so that they can get uh, initial support um, and start to learn the coping skills that, that we have come to really rely on heavily to help manage uh, the emotional, psychological impact that that crime can have. And then once they're assigned an individual clinician, we have the second phase of the intake process where the clinician continues that initial assessment, but we do a more broad stroke um, you know, assessment of their mental health history and, and their mental health experience. So we are focused on addressing the impact of the crime. So we wanna get a good understanding of, of what exactly has changed for them since they experienced this crime and how can we as a clinic, you know, help them to address those, those needs. We are a short-term treatment model. So we do start with a 16 session frame. Our services are limited uh, to residents of San Francisco. Immigration status doesn't matter. Insurance status doesn't matter. All of our services are free to our survivors. Typically, they have to be adults, so 18 and over. Our clinicians here are such expert advocates in helping our clients to access needed resources, and there really is, is no length that they, they won't go to try to assist their clients, and that can include escorting them, going with them to a police station to make a report, accompanying them to medical appointments where maybe they're concerned that they're gonna be triggered, helping them, for example, you know, wait in line at Social Security or the GA's office to access entitlements, assisting with the victim compensation application. So we do a wide variety uh, of case management support, including you know, attempting to connect them with emergency shelter if needed, helping them to start the process uh, for locating permanent housing. Really, again, whatever each individual client needs, we will tailor our intervention for that. We do have a couple of groups. So we have um, an English-speaking group called STARE, which is Skills Training and Affective and Interpersonal Regulation. And this group is really tailored for folks that have complex PTSD. And then we also have a Spanish-speaking group, um, excuse me, called El Taller. And similarly, that group is geared for coping skill building, for community building. It's, it's very culturally tailored to, to meet the specific needs of that group. And then also unique to the UCSF Trauma Recovery Center is we have a speakers bureau called CHAT. And so clients can elect after their treatment to engage with this program that really trains our survivors for how to share their story in spaces of their choosing. But the beauty of our clinic is it doesn't matter which program a survivor's in, they get the same array and quality of services. So there's really a lot of different ways that folks can can, can connect with our program. So if you or anybody that you know thinks that you need or could benefit from our services, please feel free to visit us at our website. Through that website, you can learn about all the different programs that we have, or you can give our clinic a call Monday through Friday, eight to five.